Hi, I'm Eric Smith, educator with Central State University's Cooperative Extension Service. We support the people, farms, businesses, and communities of Ohio. And today I want to welcome you to come out with me to visit with one of our communities, Mansfield, where we support the work of the North End Community Improvement Collaborative, known locally as NECIC. <laughs> NECIC stands for North End Community Improvement Collaborative and it is an organization that is considered a community development corporation. We are a nonprofit and we serve three census tracts on the north side of Mansfield in Richland County, Ohio. Um, I got involved in this work through, uh, through a, a project being created called the Micro Farm Project which gave a bunch of strangers the opportunity to come together, uh, form a cooperative and uh, create, um, create a cooperative out of a bunch of small businesses um, of local farmers that uh, wanted to sell produce locally. And so that's when we started digging into our food work and we realized that we were a food desert and so we did some very intentional asset mapping on that and we looked at who was interested in growing food, who was all, gr all growing food. The university here in Richland County wanted to help figure out a way to resolve that problem and wrote a very large grant and partnered up with NECIC. After they got the, the farm started, um, Central State University helped uh, fill in the, the gap and the need for technical uh, on-site technical assistance and continuing education. You know, having Michelle's expertise is awesome. And then Jewel, she comes to the market and she shows people easy ways to use the healthy food that we have to offer there. Michelle is awesome. She helped me identify things and we, I'll get a hold of her if I have an issue or something like that. Um, their availability is what keeps us on top. If we listen and pay attention and store that so that when we come across it, we can do something about it. And then if we're not sure, she's, she's always open, the door's always open. The NECIC Urban Farm has uh, three farms on site, and we have four urban farms and uh, four uh, rural farms that makes up our whole uh, cooperative. Uh, some of the challenges has just been um, just, just kind of figuring out how to farm. Coming out uh, every three weeks to do a training that would involve uh, focusing on the crops that they're growing on the farm and incorporating some hands-on learning and with gaining a better understanding. Having an extension agent come out here and be able to help us directly with the problems that we need, a way to be hands-on, um, being able to uh, email and call when we have problems, being able to send pictures and things like that, and then having that access all the time of knowing that when they're going to come out, uh, we can uh, put together our problems, put together our issues. Uh, it's really good to have as a um, check and balance kind of resource so we know month to month uh, when we see when we see Michelle come down that uh, you know we have we know what we need to clean up what we need to do what we need to prepare for uh, for the next visit and it's allowed our farm to really really uh, really be taken care of on a, on a higher level. No other organization right now that is providing these small farms with assistance both on the growing and uh, system side and the business development side and that's something that Central State is able to do. The Central State Extension has been very helpful in my work working with our Richland Grow Op, um, the, micro, the micro business development program with Eric throughout the course Eric comes in usually at the beginning of the course to talk to the participants about the eight to ten minute um, business presentation. You want to try to have more than a buyer-seller relationship, figure out what their needs are, how you can help them uh, become a better company and things too, and how uh, your efforts as farmers uh, can come together and, and create, uh, create uh, synergy. But now having the farmer's market here, having uh, the, uh, us three farms here, having the other urban farm grow forth right down the street, um, it creates an access point for all of us as individual farmers to be able to help feed and support the community, but then also uh, for people to be able to visually uh, see uh, farming and uh, agriculture um, go on um, as well. I plant and I water, but God actually causes the growth. And that's the part I appreciate the most, is the growth from something so small in life 
can become something so much and good for everybody. Our mission at NECIC is to improve the quality of life and economic landscape of the North End. So all of our work um, revolves around achieving that mission and we do that with a vision of in the year 2028, the North End is going to be the leading engine of economic vitality, positive youth development, arts and civic engagement. Mm -hmm.